<laughs> Good gracious. Oh, there is a lot of crap on the inside here. I thought it was all outside. Morning. So, the past couple of videos, I've sort of run you quickly through the house. This is uh, one of my final days here. We're sort of breaking this renovation down into three phases. So phase one was to get the inside of this house to save a bunch of money, do a lot of the projects ourselves. And I would say I've spent close to two weeks down here. My son helped me the first week and then Jared came by the second, I hired Jared the second week. And we probably saved $40,000 off the quotes that we got for doing this stuff ourselves. And I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about shiplap on the ceilings, all the upgrades, all the painting, all the blinds, the kitchen, everything. So it's been, it's been a worthwhile investment. It's been exhausting, but we got a lot done. So let me just walk you through sort of step by step because I've also gotten a lot of questions from you guys. The kitchen is done except for the countertops and the backsplash and floors. Now the whole house is going to get flooring, just so you understand. We have to have a flooring person come in and level all these floors, and then we're going to put a real high quality laminate wood floor down. Uh, the countertops will be installed in about two and a half weeks. They can do it while I'm not here. I can let them in electronically. but. Counters, uh, hardware on the cabinets was all changed. The cabinets were painted from the old 1990s oaks. We upgraded to, to painted all stainless steel appliances. Now this had the original 21 year old white old appliances in it. All brand new stainless steel appliances. Um, I did some under cabinet lighting. Some people are asking about the under cabinet lighting. These are just those cheap LED strips that you can buy at Lowe's or Amazon. Um, the only thing I will recommend is um, find one that has a with a mountable switch on it and not a remote control because I've found that if it has a visible switch on the LED somewhere, I'm more apt to use it versus trying to hunt it or look for a remote. So I actually use the under cabinet lighting a lot. Um, the backsplash is going to be a cool kind of nothing crazy, but a real cool pop backsplash. New blinds, new lighting fixtures all around. The ceilings, uh, we decided not to do shiplap or nickel gap up on the site, up on the ceilings. And instead I got a good quote to have all this uh, popcorn ceiling taken down by my painter. So the whole exterior of the house is gonna be painted as well too in part of phase two. And the part of phase two will be the popcorn ceiling removal and um the floor installation so that's pretty much it for the kitchen really really comfortable living kitchen now the table we have here is all the, some of this furniture is original that table was here when we bought the house we're going to get a small 36 by 36 with a big drop leaf on it that swings up um and it just that'll just really open up this place so let me take you over to the living room real quick. So the living room, <laughs> originally this room was dark green with big nasty drapes and two big ugly green sofas. And we actually ordered these. I wanted two cool looking small recliners. Uh, we actually ordered these off Wayfair for about 300 and something dollars a piece. They're really cool looking little recliners. And then the sofa we actually ordered from the local rooms to go it's fairly inexpensive again we this is you know this isn't a million dollar home this is a beach house so we want to keep it fairly simple we have not decorated yet that's the wife's job she's got to come down and do all the decorating and all the wall stuff we have a fish up but this place really needs a lot of decorating and some final touches uh, new coffee table the whole place has been painted they didn't have a ceiling fan believe it or not in a beach house they had nothing there they had a they had a light <laughs> so we had ceiling brand new ceiling fans put in all the rooms uh, modern sleep just simple and that's really what we're going for here all the all the features of this house that we're doing now we wanted clean and simple and then for the pop and the decorating for the pizzazz we're going to come in we'll we'll do the pop and pizzazz with the decorating so i talked about the stairs quite a bit 
initially we had talked about doing a spiral staircase and we decided against it and so I was sitting here last week and I did just did a video on it I was like man I got all this extra nickel gap so um, I put nickel gap on the back and this really becomes more of an architectural feature now than it is an eyesore it really came out nice um, we've got to get that's going away that TV stand there is going away my wife hates that thing we'll probably do some kind of built-in over here under this and uh, so that's pretty much it for the living room. The laundry room, this is the laundry room. We initially were going to move this downstairs, but we decided to keep it. Technically speaking, this is not up to code. And the reason being is that my electrical box is right here. And you have to have 30 or 36 inches in front of that. So you can, this is not supposed to be here. So what we're thinking about doing is possibly doing a stackable washing machine here. They make some real nice larger size ones. We'll do a stackable washing machine there on this side, and that'll free up that and make that code compliant. Otherwise, we've got to move it downstairs or move the power box. In the guest bedroom, basically all we've done is put in a ceiling fan and painted. We've got to do blinds in here, wood blinds. We're going to install some real nice furniture in here. Um, we got stuff going on in there. Okay, the bathroom, I've talked a lot about this, but I really like this. Again, um, wood floors, uh, new floors will be put in here. This is just, by the way, someone asked, this is not mounted. This is just sitting here, so. <laughs> like, why'd you put that in before you put the floors? So I just set that there, but I wanted to be able to show that we did um, nickel gap up all the way, new lighting fixture, new mirror, and then we put the nickel gap up on the ceiling, shower curtain, shower rod, towel holder, even down to the doorknobs, replace the doorknobs. So this room is really cool. Now I will note that I did have to hook up the toilet yesterday because this is city sewer and you could smell the sewage. So I had to get that capped off. I ordered a, a new replacement for that. Let me get it for you. So that thing over 21 years is nasty and yellow. And I don't know if you can see the difference here or not. But I ordered a new one off Amazon. That's kind of cool. So I just ordered a replacement. And I cleaned out all the dust and vacuumed it out and we're good to go. Excuse the mess, but the master we really haven't done anything to except paint the walls. This is the way that we bought the house. So I had a cheap wicker bed, ugly drapes up here. So we're going to be changing this. Um, we'll be putting new furniture in, decorating. Uh, the master bath. So I did... Uh, I put nickel gap up on the ceiling, new light fixtures. I ordered a new replacement fan, new shower curtain, shower rod. Didn't have a towel holder, put that in. Downstairs, I have a new vanity and I have a new toilet that, that are going in down here. Uh, I ordered this little piece off Amazon. I thought it was kind of cool, little cabinet. And then we're gonna, this closet will have actually a pulling, probably an accordion door. It had the swing out doors. That bathroom's looking pretty good. Let me take you upstairs real quick. Whew. Okay, so this is this middle room. Uh, it was dark green with brown, nasty carpet. We pulled all that up, we painted the walls. We bought some cheap tongue and groove, stained it dark, polyed it, came out really nice. New ceiling fan. And just a side note, all the electrician, we had the electricians come out and check all of our wiring and they found a little bit of crazy stuff. So if you ever do buy a house like this, that's 20 something years old or older, pay an electrician to come out and check every single receptacle because up here, he said, man, I wish I had taken a picture of this. One of these electrical boxes here had like five wires coming into it. <laughs> So they had to really rig that up kind of weird. Let's go upstairs now. Ooh, man, it's bright up here. <laughs> so this is our widow's watch, we'll call it. And what we did down here on the floor is this had pink carpet. So we pulled up the pink carpet. We put down cheap tongue and groove, pickled it white, then put a coat of poly, put an edge trim on it, and it looks really nice. I sprayed the ceiling white, it was pink, um, put in a new light fixture, and then all these windows are gonna be replaced because almost none of them work, and they're just hagged. You can see the screens. <laughs> Look at the screens. 
unfortunately windows windows can really be a budget buster we have a good company here it's called window world and everyone says you can't touch their windows for the prices and the quality so 16 windows it's gonna run about 500 bucks a pop unfortunately and they'll be double hung so that'll be nice all right so i'm gonna take you outside for a minute the entire house is going to be painted let me explain what we're doing here so outside in this front porch you have stairs here and now later on phase two um, there'll be a huge screen porch that comes out here that's covered so that's part of the construction of phase two so this will be actually screened in porch these stairs will be ripped off the stairs are going to be moved over here we had the new fence installed And you can see that the house is basically pink and white. It doesn't really go with that fence, so maybe you can see the color tone. So we're going to do the house this color, which will really pull in that fence nicely. So the house, anything that's pink will be this color now. And then all this wood that's upright will be white. And these decks, all the deck floors will be stained dark. Here's the backyard old fence I don't know why he put chain link over there well I don't understand that so we're gonna do a brand new fence but the fence is actually gonna come out to here that'll give us some ground we can do some landscaping over here the fence will be back over there do some landscaping same thing over here all right so this is the oleander I got to cut all this oleander out <clears throat> I've got to kill it first tree that's coming out second tree that's coming out landscape and then we'll come back in here and make this a nice grass area for the dogs and grandkid and then there's the back of the house uh, landscaping is going to come in around here and that swing set that was back there oh i still got to pick up my extension cord the swing set that playscape is torn down it was all rotted but it's a nice big backyard. We took down two oak trees. Uh, a great place for the dogs. And then we're going to have a set of stairs put right in here that lead out to the back. And then eventually on that pad, we're going to have a cabana built, a fully covered cabana with a grill, lighted, everything. Well, that's been phase one. Pretty much done. I'll probably leave tomorrow or the next day, go home and face the yard cleanup. <laughs> Just haven't been there for two weeks. I am going to do a quick video before I leave on this lawn and landscape out here because we're going to do, I'm going to put down real heavy pre emergent, or I plan to. We'll see if I get to do it. Put down heavy pre emergent out here now, and I'll explain that in the video coming up why I'm doing that because I've got to get it down now because I plan to do some seeding out here. And if I'm do some seeding out here in four months, I gotta get my pre-emergent on now before so that it wears off when I plant a seed. Well, my junk guys are coming. They're gonna haul away a big pile of junk I got out here. Hit subscribe, of course. You don't wanna miss any of the upcoming videos. And uh, I'm ready for a cold beer even though it's nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's been a long couple weeks, but I'm real happy with what we've done. Like I said, I guarantee it we've saved at least $30,000, if not $40,000, by doing a lot of this stuff ourselves. And uh, I'm real happy with the way that it came out. And phase two will begin shortly, and I'll keep you updated on that. Die.